who is the best manager in the league nirav the biasness radar is like like <laughs> Right yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I mean, honestly, like, nah, just bro. like you can, you can say Arteta, you can say Pep, but you can't discount Unai Emery. So, uh, has to be Unai Emery for me, just purely because of the fact that like the there were teams who dropped off this season, and he took great advantage of that with a team who's not supposed to be playing Champions League. Aston Villa are not supposed to be playing Champions League, but Chelsea. Live- Tottenham United they are so just purely because of that achievement there's the games that he's had if i have to go for like the shock performance of the season it's going to be Aston Villa versus City they absolutely demolished them i think i spoke on the podcast saying that i've never seen city dismantle like that ever even arsenal couldn't do that no team has like rattled city like the way uh, ona emery Aston Villa did it could have been 5-0 to sit to Aston Villa on that day so yeah just uh, just because of that how he assembled that squad he took them so deep into the conference league could have won the conference league first offer was done by them got unlucky obviously in the first leg but uh, amazing achievement and he has to be the manager of the season he like no one comes close it's need of favorite manager he has a photo with <laughs> <laughs> because of the photo boys yeah, nah, <laughs> yeah everything, nah, everything. Honestly, i mean i agree, <laughs> I, agree. I agree you know dude, if leon bailey is talking agree, jerk agree. chicken against city bro then <laughs> yeah. dude he's though. gotten he's gotten <laughs> some absolute draws players like performing to levels that i couldn't even think of like think about it yeah. man like some players have just gone up a different level and that's what coaching is right like you get players to another yeah. level he's gotten all you what things to a different level douglas lewis is playing another level um leon bailey is just like like from where he's Who, come like, on and he's what, what, yeah what what is happening yeah the yeah the funny thing is he's managed level. to put in bailey and uh, this guy the other guy right he they both got yeah, what I mean, is it Diaby in the Diaby? same team, like they basically play the same position. And Diaby like, was are, the guy who was supposed Diaby. to be the star, but it's Bailey. Yeah. That was that's that's yeah. how it transpired. Diaby right? and Bailey and Howards were the front three of a uh, and Leverkusen yeah, side. Yeah, of a Leverkusen. Yeah, yeah. Front three never before. never lose inside. Never lose inside. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But uh, so did he did play three lefties like in, yeah. in that kind of way and yeah Bailey and. Uh, They yeah, are such a good duo. Like they know exact. They can play left wing, right wing, both anything and play anyone. Yeah. And even Watkins can play as a wide forward, like a right winger. So bro, he has this like trident that are like super interchangeable. And he's great at coaching, man. He they're still the top team to have the most offsides considered. Yeah, which is insane. If you think Dude, their defense, their centre backs, Diogo Carlos and uh, Pau this Torres. guy, Pau Torres. Pau Torres. <laughs> Why on earth Potter would go to Aston Villa? When I even he went, I thought that, but then now I know why so he good, would. He's so going to get some Champions League. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Emery. Now Emery you know Aston Villa. Aston Villa, dude, as a football club, is a legendary football club in English uh, yeah. Premier League. They have had they've had a European Cup. They've had success uh, previously. They are supported by the Prince of uh, the King. the prince of england now and like you know there's yeah. some sort of royalty element behind them they have famous supporters so they they are in prime to be in the position where they can go on and like become one of the top 6 teams and their ownership is really good they are probably one of the best american ownerships of sports they they they've had a five year plan that i was i was hearing this villa podcast where they talked about a five year plan um yeah. and by the end of the fifth year and this is when dean smith was there By the end of the fifth yes. year, they envisioned Aston Villa to be in the prem, uh, to be in the Champions League, and this is the fifth year. So that kind of like planning is amazing. And if you have to give two two more managers a shout out for the manager of the year, I would say Ange Postecoglou, just because he goes into the shit show called Tottenham Hotspurs. He teaches them a lesson of you know how to be a winning team. He makes he completely three sixties the the style of play. Um, Finishes fifth, could have finished fourth, but finishes fifth nonetheless. Not bad at all, um, and I think the future is really bright for them. He he's overall the team completely, and I just I just feel like he has a good he has a I hope he doesn't stay in Spurs honestly because he has a really good uh, future ahead of him. Uh, and the other one has to be Mikel Arteta because dude the improvement the defensive improvement the signings every single each one of Arsenal signing. is a head parring Julian Timber who didn't even step on the pitch and who we know 
is a baller player so Havertz completely justified everyone hated him for that Raya completely justified everyone hated him for that Declan Rice everyone thought that like way too overpriced completely justified beyond another level defensively the the improvements made by Arsenal are another level um and you know this is a team which has won more games than the invincibles so they, uh, offensively again like improvements everywhere in the team mentality wise haven't haven't bottled it uh, during the tough phases won all the games and yeah so he's he's right up there yeah, i think I, another shout for me is uh Pirola for Bournemouth i think they were yeah, yeah. Uh, for me they were dead on and Sean Dykes i mean I think they did pretty well, both of them. But once you go ahead. No, I want to shout out Oliver Galsner, bro. Yeah, Somebody Galsner like, for sure. Galsner. Yeah. yeah. What like, fucking coach, man. Yeah, like like couple months, right? Three, four months, half a season. So you can't say that. There are so many good managers in the Premier League now. But um, for me, Unai Emery. But only yeah. one body prevails. I think I'm I'm with I'm good with Unai Emery. It has to be, bro. <laughs> Let's just give it to Pep and get over has it. Has bro. <laughs> give it to Pep and give it. about it we're not talking about a certain guy who's going to win his fourth premier league in a row he's going to win the seventh premier league in eighth premier i don't even know i've forgotten the count now yeah, he's like, he's the the out of the huh 17th they've been winning 17th they've been season. winning winning and they've just lost one season uh yeah one season from 2017 